Dear beloved brothers and sisters, my joy, sunshine, and true encouragement, grace and peace with much love, joy, and victory are with you in Yeshua our Lord. I'm glad I can speak to you today, and I pray, hope, and trust that this love letter finds you and the knowledge that you are in the perfect will of God, for there is no greater joy, peace, and love that can be found in the heart of any living soul than in the life of the one who is confident of such knowledge and who carries it with faith. And I know that you all are men and women of faith. And that is my earnest prayer for you. To be carried with faith does not mean that you must be one on the mission field or in full-time ministry. Such confidence can be the inheritance of a mother changing diapers, men or women who are working in an office, hospital, restaurant, school, and hotel, or in a farm. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Yeshua for good works which God prepared beforehand so that we would walk in them. Oh, that we might be light and salt, witnesses of his birth, death, and resurrection, according to the scripture. And you know, when we say scriptures, we're talking about the Old Testament. We don't have to be in full-time ministry in order to bring him glory. And we can make disciples in our workplace and in everyday life, wherever we are. Time is rapidly moving. 2009 is over, and I'm speechless. I do not marvel at any of Trumpet's accomplishments. I am not amazed about Trumpet touching hearts and lives of lost or believing souls, nor am I moved by our giving to the poor and needy or by our preaching of the gospel to the humble and to the proud. I am forever gazing at that wedding garment that welcome us into overcoming life, the wedding garment that the Lord have dressed us up with. I'm amazed and astonished with that garment he's given us, overwhelmed and speechless about that great invitation that calls us to put our trust in Yeshua, and it is such a humbling honor to rest in the love of God our Father. So please, beloved, rest in that great love that God has for you time and again, and from my innermost being, I want to thank you so much, thank you, for your love, faith, prayer, and confidence. Trumpet of Salvation, thanks to you, is able to help single mothers or individuals who struggle to make a living and pay their bills. We help them pay their electricity and water bills, their city tax, food, clothes, buy them beds, and other essential furniture. We help them pay schooling for the children and cover their bank debts time and again. Moreover, together with a dear religious friend which Trumpet of Salvation have every Friday, we provide food for about 150 families who come to our distribution spot and are giving bread, milk, oil, rice, lentils, eggs, vegetables, and fruits for the upcoming week. On top of all that, we have the expense of Trumpet Media Department, which is one of the greatest things that God is doing in our midst. Uh, you should really see what the Lord is doing rapidly. We're moving in creating evangelistic website for Jewish non-believers as well as believers. By God's grace, we are also looking into the possibility of helping establish a farm in the Negev desert. There is a beautiful believing family who has the land, 70 dunam, it's about 18 acres, um, and they really need a help to establish a farm with Trumpet of Salvation to Israel is doing everything possible to help them establish that farm. And we need to flourish the desert, don't we? Also. We need to print now another 30,000 copies of the book, Why Me, in Hebrew, which, as you well know, we give free of charge. We want to assure you that your love gifts, beloved, received by Trumpet of Salvation is used carefully, wisely, 
in the fear of God and with his love for the advancing of his kingdom and for meeting the needs of the poor and the needy, widows, orphans, the sick, prisoners, and the brokenhearted. In Trumpet Next newsletter, I shall share with you about the Lord's doing in our midst. Great is his faithfulness and great are his accomplishments. Please, don't cease praying for us. Pray for all the many seeds that we continuously planting in the hearts of men that will always fall on good ground. I want to thank you for your love. I want to thank you for your prayer, for the encouragement. And just remember, whatever you do, do it unto the glory of God. Here at Trumpet of Salvation, we want to salute you. And may this year will be a year filled with a great joy in your heart, with love.